Hi everyone! I'm excited to tell you guys that there's a clinic this weekend here at the Silver Glade Equestrian Center. If you don't know what a clinic is, it's basically where you learn from a well-accomplished equestrian and they give you feedback on your riding and help you with your horse. Kind of like a lesson, but longer, I would say more special and elaborate. It's nice to learn from someone who you don't normally ride with so you can get help with your horse and you're riding from someone else's perspective, a different point of view. This clinic will be with the silver medalist of the 2008 Jorvik Olympic Games, Francis Ironsaddle. You probably know his sister Franziska Ironsaddle who runs Fashion Week at the Jorvik City Mall. It's going to be two days long with multiple sections of riders based on jump height and skill level. I'll be in the second section of riders. Almost all of the riders at this barn will be participating and some riders from other barns around Jorvik are trailering their horses here for the weekend. Today is Friday, so that means I have to get ready for tomorrow. I'll have a short ride on socks, no jumping because we had a jumping lesson yesterday with my trainer. It went really well and socks was great. I still need to clean all of my tack, get socks clipped, and I need to make sure I have some wraps ready. I made sure I got here early so I can ride before all of the arenas get busy. We're not going to be doing anything crazy, just a short ride, since we have a big weekend ahead of us. When we got to the riding hall, Socks was a little snorty for a while, probably because it's getting colder and she's acting fresh. She definitely wasn't paying attention at first and broke at the trot, but I gave her a nice pony kick to keep going and after that our ride was fine. We did a lot of circles, especially at the extended canner. She had a big strided canner today and I was able to get some of her feistiness out, which will hopefully keep her more level-headed and rideable for the rest of the weekend. Cross your fingers, she isn't spooky. I don't want to wear her out though. I'm sure there are a lot of exercises planned for the next two days that we need to save some energy for. Then I took her on a walk around the riding hall to cool her out. Even though she didn't work that hard, I just enjoy spending time out here. There's a little trail if your horse is brave enough to go across the stream, but Sox is clearly afraid of the water. We'll keep working on it though. By the time we got back, there were so many people warming up in the riding hall. It's crazy now that people are arriving. Socks has to look professional for the clinic, so that means I have to clip her ears, bridle path, cornet bands, and her little muzzle whiskers that look like a beard. I had one of the stable hands hold her for me, which I'm grateful for because Socks hates the sound of the clippers, especially around her ears, and she won't hold still. She tries to take off, so she needs someone to hold her. I'm also cleaning my tack tonight and conditioning the leather and then washing saddle pads and wraps. I'm just making sure that everything is super clean and nice before this weekend. Hi guys, it is Saturday morning and I'm just waiting to ride. There are a few different groups and I'm in the second one so I'm going to watch the first group until it's time to get tacked up. The first group is pretty fun to watch. Francis started the first group off with getting to know their horses by having them do a lot of flat work, and they did some exercises that included bridging the reins, stopping in an emergency, lots of circles, and they worked on keeping their horses straight. Mm. 
they still bother me, even though I made sure I wasn't on the schedule the entire weekend. Speaking of work, recently I've been applying for stable hand jobs around Jorvik because I would love to be immersed with horses more. Leasing socks has really helped me spend more quality time at the barn, but I'm interested in working around horses, not scooping ice cream, if you know what I mean. It would be a dream to work at the SEC, but they have plenty of help right now, so I'm keeping my eyes open at other facilities too. I'm actually interviewing at Golden Leaf Stable, the barn I used to ride at tomorrow after the clinic. I'm not too nervous since I already know the barn manager since I used to ride there and I know how things run. Socks will not be moving of course, so don't worry about that, I'll still be riding at the SEC no matter where I end up working. Then they walked over to the other side of the riding hall to start jumping. I couldn't watch the entire thing because I had to get ready for my section, but I was able to watch them work through a gymnastic. Someone fell off, but they ended up being just fine. It happens. There's about 30 minutes until my group goes, so I'm gonna make sure Socks is spotless and get ready to ride. We wandered around the ring on a long rain until it was time for our group to start and then we began with a working walk on a shorter rein. Socks walks slow and doesn't have a great working walk, so it was hard to get her moving and swinging forward. He explained how important the working walk is and how walking is the best exercise for horses and it's very natural. While we were trotting, we worked on longitudinal exercises, which loosely means that about every 30 seconds we would halt or walk, sometimes even back a few steps, and then immediately go back to the trot. And it works well for keeping your horse on their toes because they look forward to what they're being asked to do next instead of just mindlessly trotting around in circles, bored out of their minds. Socks anticipated that upward transition, as you saw, and she started cantering, even though I didn't ask her to do that. So this exercise got her thinking ahead, but too much. We practiced turns on the hind end, and some people got a little confused. Sox's owner definitely taught her how to do this, so we didn't have a problem with it. We did some sitting canner, and I was supposed to be working on keeping my rein shorter and having Sox pull be the highest point. Her movement also needs to have a lot more energy, propulsion, and that's what we're going to be working on. We switched over to the jumping arena and started off with trotting this yellow cross rail. Then we took turns going through the diagonal two stride. I didn't keep socks straight the first time and we almost ran into the jump at the end of the ring. I don't think anyone saw that though. Toward the end of the session, Francis taught us a course that we're going to be putting together and working on. We'll start it today and then improve on it, and he'll make it more difficult in tomorrow's session. The course starts off with trotting in and cantering out the yellow cross rail on the weird angle, and then we have to bend out the green vertical, which bending lines can be tricky. And since we're trotting in, we're adding a stride and ideally doing it in five. Then we go on to the yellow vertical on the wall, and there's a long ride to the two stride. And he specifically said to go around the red vertical the first time, the farther side. And this whole turn is super challenging 
when you ride it going away because there's a jump in the way on purpose so you have to plan your turn well if you screw up, you'll be slicing it into a two strad, which is not the best experience. He said that's not what we're going for today. We're trying to bend our horses to make either approach work well, whether we go to the inside or the outside, so that we end up straight and in the middle when jumping in. After the two stride, there's another long ride to the green brush vertical, which is another bending line out the yellow vertical, which should be done in three strides ideally. And that's the end of the course, only seven jumps. We're going to go fourth in the order, and I'm glad I'm not going first because I like to see other people go through the course to see how it rides. One rider forgot the course, and you never want to be that person, but it happens, and it's happened to me before too, so I learned from their mistake and made sure I knew exactly where I was going. Then it was my turn, and I shortened my reins and made sure that I had a good quality trot to get over the first jump. Like usual, Sox had a tiny gathering canter stride before the trot jump, which is her bad habit. I didn't keep enough contact with her mouth in the middle of the line, so she got away from me and we went in a long four strides instead of five. We had a nice corner to the yellow single, and with that, a nice distance too. We kind of veered off after, I don't know what I was doing. I said I wasn't going to forget the course. We went into the two stride at a weird angle we were supposed to go in straight, but whatever we did worked out because the distance was awesome. Sox was afraid of the brush filler under the green jump, so she looked at it, and then we got three strides, which is perfect. I got talked to about how I needed to keep a shorter rein with more contact because Sox got away from me at one point and it will also help with the straightness and steering issue that we're having around parts of the course. Then our session was over for the day, and after I untacked, I saw Maddie with her new green horse, Cisco. She couldn't make it to the clinic today because she works at the rescue ranch and they had an emergency, so she lessened after instead, but she'll be there tomorrow. I spent a long time grooming socks and she was really sweaty and worked pretty hard. I finished cooling and brushing socks out, and then I walked her out to her pasture. She's going to be turned out all day, as usual, until later this evening when she comes in for dinner time. On a typical day, she'd be outside already by now, but since it's clinic day, she's spending her morning with me. Socks's field is right next to the gardener's house, so I like to see if they're out and about, and they just happen to be, so I caught up with them and how they're doing, and maybe ranted a little about how I got called into work at Leonardo's and can't watch the third group of riders go, which I'm a little salty about because I hate missing out on things. When I came back that evening to bring Socks in, she was with her best friend Storm, they love each other so much. One of the stable hands will bring Storm in too when they're done making all the horses dinners. Socks walked really fast to the barn because she knew there was grain waiting for her. She's usually a pretty slow walker. Just as expected, there was food for Socks all ready for her, so while she was eating, I went to the tack room to grab liniment and her wraps so I can get her legs all wrapped up, and I'll leave these on her until tomorrow morning. Her legs won't be sore stiff, and then she can jump out of her socks. Is that a thing? Okay, I'll stop. Good morning, everyone. It's about 6 a.m. and I'm getting coffee with Maddie at this cafe before we head over to the barn. She was working yesterday morning, sadly, so she couldn't ride the first day. I think I already said that, but she's joining us today. 
I ended up ordering a sandwich with my coffee and it was very delicious. Then I filled Maddie in on what we worked on yesterday in our group. She's going to be riding her new baby green horse, Cisco, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they do. When we got to the barn, I took the wraps off of socks and then we headed down to the riding hall to watch the first group of riders again. They rode so much better than yesterday, it was really cool to see how they applied their corrections from the day before, and I'm definitely going to try to do the same. Then it was time for us to ride, and today our group started off with a warm up in the jumping arena. Compared to yesterday, Socks was trotting and moving in general so much better. I think working her every day and wrapping her legs up has helped her feel a lot better and move so much smoother. At one point, Cisco tried to go after Socks and got in her personal bubble, but Socks handled it pretty well. Francis had us sit the canner again for a few laps each direction, and then we did an extended canner for a few laps. It was a little difficult to keep our space just because there are so many horses and we have to weave around jumps in this arena. At the end of the extended canter, we halted and backed a few steps, which was a lot easier to do after we had been cantering for so long. Socks was definitely done working. Francis had us start with an exercise using the two stride where we would go around twice, and the first time we would go around the outside of the red jump, and the second time we would go around the inside of the red jump, but our two stride should ideally look and ride the exact same each time, so we had to strategically end up in the middle both times. Socks was pretty well behaved through it. We need to work on our rhythm, but our lines were pretty close. Definitely not exact though. This is what we were having the most trouble with in our course yesterday, so I'm glad that we got to revisit this specific part. It was definitely troubling for a few horses, including Cisco, who ran out of the line more than once. He's very green though, so it was understandable, and Francis took extra time with them to help Maddie work him through the exercise. A couple of the riders rode through it so nicely, but overall everyone rode it better than yesterday. Rue from our barn has a horse who's an actual beast and somehow turned it into a one stride. I have no idea how that's even possible. One rider trotted into it and they almost got into huge trouble doing that, but they were perfect the next time around. We worked on the same course we did yesterday again, except this time we cantered over the cross rail instead of trotting in, so the striding was a little shorter. Today's goal was working out the kinks from yesterday on the course, and keeping the same rhythm throughout the entire thing. We're basically just cantering, but there's seven obstacles in the way, so we have to keep a good quality canter throughout the course, and then finding the distances should be easy. We rode in crooked and bent to the yellow single on the wall, so it looked kind of awkward, but we made it work. I had a long spot in the two stride, and Frances told me that I needed to support her with my leg all the way through so that she can ride up to a better distance. 
Our bending lines were both perfect threes and we rode through them consistently well. Overall, we had a more consistent rhythm throughout the entire course compared to yesterday. There was one horse who just wasn't having it by the end, but the rider was able to get him over the jumps. After working through the course a few times, we played a little game where we followed the person ahead of us and kept a horse length between us, and then the leader would canter all the way down to the horse in the back of the line, and we all took turns doing that. At the end of the session, we had a chat about appreciating our horse's abilities, and then it was time for a photo opportunity before cooling our horses out. With that, we were done riding. I'm very happy with how everything went, and I learned so much that will help us in the future. I can't wait until Sox and I can go to our first show together. The clinic is finally over. I'm so glad that Sox and I had this opportunity to ride with Francis, and now it's time to head over to Golden Hills for my interview. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the whole clinic experience, and wish me luck on snatching up a stable hand job. Thanks for watching, bye!